All right, guys. This is Ashwin here. In this video, we are going to solve the problem maximum perimeter triangle. Given an array of uh, stick lengths, use three of them to construct a non-degenerate uh, triangle with the maximum possible perimeter. So you can able to see what is a non-degenerate uh, triangle in theory. I will explain you how the constraint works for uh, finding whether it is a degenerate triangle or not. Written an array of the lengths of its sides as three integers in non-decreasing order. That means we have to uh, display the results in ascending order. If there are several valid triangles having the maximum perimeter, choose the one with the longest maximum side. So that is the biggest number among uh, all the pairs. Like here, they have multiple pairs. If uh, more than one has that uh, maximum, choose from them the one with the longest minimum side. So this is also should be uh, longest. When you consider three numbers, so here if you consider means three is the maximum uh, longest maximum side and one is the longest minimum side for this pair. So if you consider among those pairs means you have to choose the longest one. If more than one has that maximum as well, print any one of them. So if both conditions are uh, same means uh, we can print any one of them. So it doesn't matter. If no non-degenerate uh, triangle exists, return minus one. So all the values we have to return in terms of a list. So we have to return minus one uh, in the list itself. And if you found the three numbers means you can also display them as a list. So we have to return uh, three numbers in the list. So we have an example, one, two, three, four, five, and 10. So the triplet one, two, three will not form a triangle. Uh, that means, uh, so we should not consider uh, this pair and uh, neither will 4, 5, 10 or uh, 2, 3, 5. So the problem is reduced to 2, 3, 4 and 3, 4, 5. The longest perimeter is uh, 3, 4, 5. That is the total of uh, 12. If you add all of these three means, uh, we will get the total of 12. So that's how we have to uh, compute the values. Why this is not uh, working like 4, 5, 10. So for a degenerate triangle, uh, it should satisfy the condition. If you add any two sides, it should be less than or equal to the third side. So if you can able to see, if you add one plus two, that is three, three less than or equal to three. So that satisfies the condition. So that should be degenerate uh, triangle. But we have to construct non-degenerate triangle. So we have to check for this condition. Here also you can able to see nine less than uh, equal to 10. So this is also degenerate. And here also phi less than or equal to phi. This is also degenerate. So it's not satisfying the condition. Here you can able to see if you add any two numbers that is three plus four means seven. Seven is not less than or equal to five. And here also two plus three is five. Five is not less than or equal to four. So it doesn't satisfy the condition. So these two triangles are non-degenerate. So here from so from here we have to choose the maximum perimeter. So I think our objective is uh, clear and we can able to easily uh, do this with the sorting operation. And here we have some sample inputs. We will see all the inputs and uh, see why it's uh, the valid answer. So for all the inputs, we will usually sort the input at first. So it's already in the sorted order. We will uh, traverse the array from the reverse. So if you traverse the array from reverse means we can able to check for this condition like one plus uh, three equals four, four not less than or equal to three. So this is a non-degenerate uh, triangle. So we can able to return one, three, three. So they have mentioned uh, two unique triangles are there and uh, this is the one with the maximum uh, perimeter. And here we have another sample. I already explained one plus two is three, three less than or equal to three. So this is a degenerate triangle. We will return minus one. And uh, this is the last case. So it's also in the sorted order. If you consider the last three, it's a degenerate. And uh, we can able to form only one triangle that is one, one, one. That is a uh, non-degenerate triangle. And uh, that is the only valid triangle. So we will return these numbers. I think that's uh, pretty much the logic of this problem. Let's dive into the code. So in the code, uh, initially, we have to sort the 
array that is sticks dot sort so it will uh, sort the array if it's an unsorted uh, manner I didn't see uh, they have mentioned any constraint like the array will be in a sorted order so we have to sort and after that we have to initialize uh, i so i equals len of sticks minus 3 as i already mentioned before we have to traverse from the last if you consider i equals uh, length minus 3 means so this is the total length that is 6 if you minus 3 means it will be in the third index so it will start from 2 and it will we can able to calculate 3 and 5 also using uh, i plus 1 and i plus 2 so that's our objective so we will traverse until we have a non-degenerate uh, triangle so while i greater than or equal to 0 and so this is the condition i'm going to set the condition for uh, degenerate uh, triangle so that will be sticks of i plus sticks of i plus 1 i plus 1 less than or equal to sticks of i plus 2 so this is the condition of a uh, degenerate uh, triangle why i am doing this uh, we just have to avoid these pairs so if you see some uh, non-degenerate uh, triangle pairs means uh, or triplets we will just decrement i by 1 so i will just go backwards so here in this case 2 3 5 is uh, not a valid triangle and uh, i will just uh, traverse to the start and when we reach 1 1 1 so this is a valid triangle so this loop will stop at i equals 0 now we have to check for the condition if i greater than or equal to 0 we can return the three sticks so that will be sticks of i sticks of i plus 1 and sticks of i plus 2 so these are the triplets we have to return so if i is like less than 0 means we don't have any valid triangles so in the else part i will return minus 1 so that's the whole logic of this problem i think it's pretty much clear and uh, straightforward we didn't do that much of a uh, complex stuff here we are just iterating the array in a linear time and checking whether this condition is satisfying or not if it's satisfying means we will just uh, go back in reverse in the array until this condition fails that is uh, it will be a non-degenerate triangle when we reach that we have to check whether uh, the index is greater than or equal to zero uh, to avoid uh, index errors if it satisfies the condition we will return the triplets or else we will return minus one and the overall time complexity is n log n because of this uh, sorting operation if the array is already sorted means uh, we just have to uh, traverse through the array so that will be order of n so depends on the question you can able to uh, minimize the time complexity i think that's it for the logic let's run the code yes it passed the sample test case let's submit it yeah we have successfully solved the problem if you have any other uh, logic other than this uh, please leave a comment below it will be very helpful for others apart from that if this video is helpful give a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe the channel for more videos. Stay tuned for the next video.